This video is going to change your dental life and the dental life of your patients. I'm a visual learner and most of our patients are visual learners too. And too many of you are trying to explain things to a patient sitting in a dental operatory. Forget that. They need to see what you're talking about. So subscribe to the Dentistry Master Classes. Go to the library and get these videos. This is going to change your life. It'll increase your practice by 25% the right way. We're not selling anything, but you owe it to the patient to present it, things to them in a way they can understand. Decay. Let's talk about decay, occlusal and interproximal decay. When you say to a patient, you've got a cavity, you need a crown, or you need a filling, they have no idea what you're talking about. Show them this video and they'll understand what you're talking about. Okay, this is the presentation of this patient. You can see the little gray areas right here. This is the telling point. Patients don't understand that decay just makes a tiny little hole in the enamel, kind of like a termite making a hole in the wall. Then they get inside that wall and it just blows up. The whole tooth can be eaten out and all you see is that little hole. I wish all of you had these books that I published back in 2000. We need to make a video on this where you can see, you don't even see the decay here. This is not very big, but once you get into the inside of the tooth, this little one looks like that. And this one that's just moderate is decayed into the nerve. So this will explain that to patients. And you see the little dark here and the dark here. Radiographically, all you see is this dark right here. You don't see the darkness on the molar tooth, and these are just big, leaky interproximal fillings. I'm not a fan of interproximal composite filling. They're too large. The coefficient of thermal expansion of a composite is 75. That of a tooth is 11, so that filling is going like this. It's hard to get uh, the gingival margin correct. You know, if there's any leakage, it's going to leak. Ugh. It's kind of like a lower denture without implants, so I'm not a real fan of interproximal uh, large composites. I'd rather place an inlay, or if it's very large, even a full crown. Because whenever I see these large composites on people's patients coming into my practice, I know most of the time there's going to be leakage and decay underneath them. You can see there's some decay right here also. Let's talk about decay. Sweet gets into the groove of the teeth. Bacteria loves sweet, loves sugar. And so bacteria goes in to the sweet or the sugar in the groove and it secretes an acid and that acid starts eating through this part of the tooth. There was a movie called Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood and he had a poster of Bridget Bardot on the wall, but he could lift up that poster and with a spoon, he slowly dug a hole through the wall and escaped from Alcatraz. Well, that's what I always think about when I think about this, that acid just starts eating through and finally it gets into this soft dentin and then just blows up, but you never have more than just a dot of black showing from the occlusal surface. And you can see how now it's gotten into the dentin, the soft part, that's what it's after. And then it just expands. And finally gets into the nerve of the tooth and that's when you have to have a root canal and a crown. But if you view this from the occlusal, all you're gonna see is this little black dot. You may see a dark shadow around it, but that's it. Now here's interproximal decay. The places you get decay are on the occlusal surface, the interproximal between the teeth, and on the facial. As dentists, we can tell what kind of sweet the patient's eating by where the decay is. If it's on the occlusal or in between the teeth, usually that's a sticky sweet. Jolly Rancher, Gummy Bear, uh, caramely goo type stuff. If it's on the facial surface, that's generally Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, sucking on mints all day long, sucking on cough drops. That's at the gum line. And so this would be a sticky sweet, and that sticky 
gets in between the teeth. Now the double whammy is if the patient does not floss their teeth. They're probably going to get decay if they eat the sticky stuff, even if they do floss and brush their teeth. But if they don't, they're dead in the water because that sticky stuff, that caramely goo stuff is going to stick right here and you always get decay on both teeth. It decays this way and this way. And the white is the enamel and it slowly eats through the enamel, again, trying to get to the dentin. It may take a year or two for the decay to eat through the enamel. But once it gets to the dentin, it may only take a few months to get into the nerve of the tooth because these dentinal tubules go in that direction and this is much softer material. So whenever this finally eats through the enamel and gets into the dentin, then wham, it's into the nerve in no time and that's when you have to have a root canal and a crown. So this is that same patient and because we've got these large interproximal composites and decay between the teeth and decay right here and then decay right here, these are all four receiving full crowns. Now what you'll notice is the decay appears white in the enamel and once it gets into the dentin, it turns brown. Now we didn't even see this one because this had an old composite in the tooth, but as we go further into the teeth, you can see the decay. This one already had large composites on the front and the back and leakage underneath them. And this is decayed here and then watch this one go. See how this is getting deeper and expanding and this is getting deeper. Again, the white is the enamel, the brown is the dentin. See, this is going, getting broader and broader, and this one that we didn't even notice ahead of time because it had an old composite, it was leaking underneath it. And this is getting deeper and deeper into the tooth. Now this one, I've gotten to, and it stopped. You can see this is good, sound dentin. Here, this one's getting deeper and deeper. I was thinking this was gonna need endodontics also. And this is going deeper. And finally, this one is into the nerve of the tooth. This one, I was able to remove all the decay before it got into the nerve of the teeth. And the same thing on these. So I'm having to do endodontics on this one. These, I did not. Now once I, I'm gonna, uh, you wanna be sure to seal these teeth. And I'm gonna place composite on these other ones to buffer it and to fill up the holes and then perform endodontics on this tooth. So we place composite here. This is the endodontics on that tooth. That's the dental minute. These procedures work and they work every time.